Welcome or welcome back to Lift You Up Inspiring Health Stories. I'm your host, Tamika Bickham. I'm the founder and chief storyteller of TB Media Group. But for the purpose of this podcast, I am your health and happiness matchmaker. Now, before I introduce you to today's guest, you know what I'm going to ask you to do. Go ahead and subscribe on YouTube, turn on those notifications, and connect with me on LinkedIn because I love to stay connected with you. Now, today I am going to introduce you to Samaya Gore. She is the founder of Body Complete RX, which are plant based supplements. And she's got a really cool story, her own health journey of weight loss and plastic surgery that she's openly shared for many years on social media. But she became the first black female owned brand to launch in vitamin shop. And she is in every vitamin shop nationwide. I can't wait for you to hear this story. Our physical, mental, and emotional health is not just a want, it is a need for happy lives and prosperous businesses. Lift You Up is the podcast where we share inspiring health stories from business owners who are fulfilling their purpose to live their healthiest lives and helping you do the same. From former TV reporter to marketing entrepreneur and content creator, I care about sharing stories that matter and stories that connect us. I'm your host, Tamika Bickham, your health and wellness matchmaker. Well, today I'm so excited to meet virtually Samaya Gore. I'm saying that right, right? Yes, Samaya. Awesome. Samaya, so nice to meet you. I'm Tamika and welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Tamika. <laughs> You're it's welcome. It's nice meeting you as well virtually. <laughs> I know you are the founder of Body Complete RX. You are an author. I'm sure so much more. You're a health and wellness advocate, enthusiast, all the things. I want to learn so much more about you. But first, I have a question. Where are you calling in from? I'm actually based out of the D.C. area, the DMV. Okay. So um, right here in McLean, Virginia, which is about 10 minutes outside of Washington, D.C. <laughs> okay, awesome. Very nice. So a little ways from where we are in South Florida, but I know you're having yeah, a it, you have an impact in the in the health and wellness industry, um, you know, nationwide and maybe even worldwide. So I'm excited to dive more into you and what you do. So I guess first kind of tell us a little bit about you. Absolutely. So I'm a mother of four. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, obviously, as you just said, I'm the owner of Body Completer X. Uh, which is a brand that I started uh, several years ago out of my own health and wellness journey that I publicly went on on social media. Um, I started my brand as just a woman looking to just get back to herself, wanting to feel more like myself after having four kids. Um, I don't know, many women probably can relate after having children. <laughs> Sometimes you can kind of lose yourself, don't really look like how you used to look, feel like how you used to feel. So I was a mother of four, just really looking to get back to myself. And that's how I began Body Completer X. Awesome. I'm excited to learn more about that. And I know you mentioned you had a a public kind of health and, and wellness journey of your own. But for but before we dive into that, tell me, have you always been in this space? Is this how you started your career? No, absolutely not. I actually used to work for the federal government. I was an HR manager. Um, I never thought of myself being an entrepreneur, although I do have a master's in business. So I did, you know, have some kind of business training and entrepreneurship training, but I never thought that you know, I would build a brand and business, especially to this magnitude um, and using some of that skill that I actually thought I was going to school for, for human resources. <laughs> so um, it's transitioned over. But um, no, I love asking I really... that question, too. That's why I love asking that question, because I feel like like just like you said, life uh, takes you in, in various ways you never expect. And I, I feel like almost everyone I've interviewed on this podcast has started in some totally different fields from where they ended up in, yeah. you know, health and wellness. So, okay, HR. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but then you look back on it and you like everything, you know, happened in the way it needed to happen. It's supposed to happen. So, so no, I was originally an HR manager with the Department of Veteran Affairs. I worked for the federal government for 12 years before leaving um, in 2018, um, after being uh, starting Body Completer X and being in business for two years. Um, in 2014, I had my fourth child, Carter, and I picked up 80 pounds during that pregnancy. 
And I shared this public journey of just me wanting to get back to myself. Um, and along the way, that journey included a mommy makeover. I had a public plastic surgery journey that, um, you know, in 2014, it was very taboo. And also it wasn't something that a lot of black women were talking about in 2014. So I ended up writing a book about it um, and built a pretty large platform, um, just giving tips and advice about that journey. And what I noticed about, you know, being on that journey was that, you know, it's not a quick fix having a mommy makeover, you know, you can't just have a tummy tuck and then think you can't eat right or get your life, you know, eat from the inside out. So I started, you know, working out and I was taking supplements and I was looking for plant-based supplements to help with the weight management piece because that had always been, always been an issue for me. And so when I couldn't find what I was looking for in the store, I start looking for nutritionists to work with to build my own product. So that's how Body Complete RX started. And so I worked with Dr. Ruby Lathan to formulate our formulas. Um, and yeah, so, you know, definitely didn't come from a supplement background. It was just something that I personally had interest in because I was using supplements and, you know, started Body Complete RX. We only started with um, three products which were our three weight management products. But now we have over 18, we have 18 SKUs. Um, so we've expanded to plant-based protein, pre-workout, multivitamins, anything for the body. So the brand is um, definitely expanding and growing outside of the original products of the weight management products, but definitely a blessing um, to be here. Did you start having these feelings of wanting to share a journey like during your pregnancy? Was it after? What was this timeline and kind of evolution like? And what were you feeling at the time? Well, um, so so after having my son and, you know, really feeling I was 270 pounds, I first started a weight loss journey. I started an Instagram page. It was called Transformer Mom. So okay. the original body complete, like body completer X, our original page name was transformer mom, because that was my original page. And I started sharing I on this weight loss journey and I was working out and juicing and I lost 40 pounds. Um, and so I lost half of the weight. And then I went on this plastic surgery journey to have a mommy makeover and started publicly sharing that journey. Um, and again, during that process, you know, I would then discover like, okay, this is not a weight loss procedure, you know, right, still right. gotta get back down to, you know, the, the, a healthy weight, still have to maintain, you know, a healthy lifestyle process. Right. So um, that was my journey, but yes, I, it was immediately after start, you know, having my son in 2014. And was the intention with starting that Instagram page just to share your story or did you kind of foresee building this bit no <laughs> it all Absolutely came back to <laughs> not 2014 i feel like you know 2021 instagram is totally different than 2014 totally different. instagram <laughs> so 2014 instagram was very much so authentic sharing it wasn't a sales platform you didn't right. even have shop options on instagram you know <laughs> so um no definitely in 2014 you know i was just authentically sharing what I was doing. And it also was a space I didn't feel, you know, it was because I was like, okay, nobody knows who I am. You know, I had this name Transformer Mom. You know, they don't really know me, but I connected with so many people along the way, even from that journey. One of my good, good friends to this day is someone that I met in 2014 through Instagram, through that journey and through that Transformer Mom uh, profile. So, um, yeah, definitely didn't set out for that. Um, it just literally happened. <laughs> you know, I'm very active in my brand, but, you know, me, you know, my my community inspires me. They keep me going. So it's like the more that I share and I get the feedback from them, it makes me want to share more and they share more with me. So absolutely. And I also love that you are so open about the plastic surgery aspect of it as well, because... Again, I'm all for like, hey, whatever makes you happy, makes you feel good. Everybody's journey is different. And it sounds like what you did was also just kind of share um, something that maybe hasn't hadn't been shared so much so openly um, yes. at, at that time. 
So I kind of was like a pioneer in that space, you know, in terms of just being a black woman talking Mm -hmm. about having these procedures done, what it looked like for me, you know, everything wasn't roses, you know, the ups and downs and then writing a book about it, um, you know, in 2015, you know, to help others, you know, if they're going to do it, do it the right way. And that was something that, and that was another reason why, you know, like I said, I had gained 80 pounds in my pregnancy, but before this mommy makeover journey, I lost 40 of the pounds. Right. And I was so like in a rush to have this transformation journey. And that was something that, you know, I told everybody after I did, like, I wish that I would have waited until I got to my, you know, my back to my goal weight, because what happens is, is you have the surgery and you're still not at your goal weight, but then you continue to lose. So you have extra skin and all these mm. things. So it's always just better to just be at a healthy weight. And then also it's safer, you know, for you. You know, that was something that I would communicate to my community a lot. And that's why, you know, that's how the healthy lifestyle um, transition, you know, they saw me transitioning into that, like, okay, surgery, you know, that's cool, you know, to do it, but you got to maintain it. They saw me working out and taking supplements and then that community started the same thing. So I'm really, I was really proud of the people that actually followed me in that sentiment because so many people don't realize that it's so much more than just laying on an operating table, right? However you want to look at it, whether it's expense and time and stress on your body to to kind of just go out the window Mm -hmm. um, if you're not maintaining it. So doing it the right way, that's what you mentioned. Tell me about that transition between, I guess, then having the surgery, um, you've gone through this weight loss journey, and then really looking at that healthy lifestyle. What kind of changes did you make to maintain or continue to lose weight? So I felt like it's all been a a growth process, right? Even I just turned 40 in June and even till today, you know, a healthy lifestyle, I feel like encompasses so many different aspects of your life, like going to therapy. I had some healthy aspects, I feel like, of my lifestyle, right? But it wasn't consistent. You know, I didn't consistently um, drink water. Um, I wasn't consistently taking my vitamins. It wasn't like a, you know, now it's like a, I don't even think about it. It's like, I'm getting out of the shower. I'm taking my vitamins, putting on my face stuff. You know, like I'm, it's a part of my routine. Definitely. It wasn't, you know, an overnight thing. It's a process. It's a lifestyle. It's a journey. It's an ever evolving process and journey. Absolutely. Right. So it never stops. That's why I always say it's a lifestyle. And something I feel like I can relate to too, is like, I'd never put enough for me personally, emphasis on the importance of like reducing stress and like a calm and like, you know, mindfulness and just, you know, hey, I'm at one point I'm bodybuilding, I'm I'm working 12 hours a day, I'm, you know, training, I'm doing an hour of cardio a day, I'm eating, you know, healthy and all of these things, but I'm really stressed out and I'm sleeping four hours a night. Mm. And it's one of those, I think ever evolving things, at least for me, as far as realizing, hey, you you can't also carry around all that stress. You also need to sleep. You also Mm -hmm. need to take that space to have, you know, some time to yourself, meditate, whatever that looks like. And yeah, it sounds like that's what you're saying as far as kind of that having the whole that holistic approach to health. Yeah, absolutely. It's also very important. There's a challenge um, that's a personal challenge for me um, that we do in my brand, Body Completer X, it's called the BCRX Challenge. And every day, it's just a lifestyle activity that we, you know, encourage our community to do. So, you know, one day it's like drink water. Um, another day it's, you know, go for a 20 minute walk. These are all things that seem like small, but for some people, it's a huge thing, you know? Um, and it's important to just get started. So, um, definitely it's, it's a ever evolving lifestyle journey. It's something that I'm, I'm stressed to our community and we stress like we do in the BCRX challenge is a part of your everyday activity that you just have to get used to and, and embrace. Right. You mentioned wanting to now maintain, you know, incorporating new aspects of, um, healthy lifestyle and you couldn't find plant-based supplements. Mm-hmm. Is that right? So that's where you started, um, you know, finding, I guess it was a nutritionist to help you develop your own. Yes. So initially, after I had this mommy makeover journey and I was trying to lose the rest of the 40 pounds, I went to a doctor 
who put me on um, like a medication, like over the counter, it was called Fentermine, um, like a capsule to help me like control my appetite. You know, took it and I lost maybe like 30 pounds in 30 days. Oh and my, then no picked, way. And then picked it right back up. Yeah, because it's, you literally starve yourself. It's not healthy, right? No, no It's not healthy. No. So, um, because it's so, such a strong thing. So I was looking for, I'm like, okay, well, what could be like comparable that something that's plant-based to help me control my appetite? And when I was going to market, I was looking at other competitor brands, but they weren't plant-based. They had, um, you know, ingredients in them that were not safe. Right. Um, and so I was like, okay, well, we've got to be able to do something. Like there's got to be a formula you can make. So I contacted a laboratory. Why did you want to find something plant- plant-based? Because I wanted it something safer. The fentermine was like really strong. Mm-hmm. And I felt like, all right, there's got to be a safer alternative. I was already using like plant-based protein. Okay. So I was like already in the mindset of like safer alternatives. And I'm not, and I don't eat plant-based. I'm not a okay. plant-based uh, eater, but in terms of like supplements and things like that, if I can find something that's safer and cleaner, that's definitely going to be my choice. And then with adding Dr. Lathan, um, and with our like our plant-based proteins, um, she actually added like a benefit to those ingredients. So like we have sweet potato and beetroot in those proteins. And that is something that, you know, sweet potato and beetroot help with heart health and diabetes. That's something that in our community, women of color or people of color are faced with. So Dr. Ruby Lathan, you know, specifically put those ingredients into our formulas with you know, people of color in mind, which is also really special about the formulas of our brand as well. It sounds like the importance of that also weighed into, hey, the doctors you worked with um, and as you started to develop, um, you know, the products that you were working on, because just in the black community and as black women, there are just certain diseases and health conditions that affect us more. You know, it's in my mind, it was just more so about finding a nutritionist to work with, right? Like, you know, I want to make sure that the formulas, because our laboratory, they have formulas, but we can enhance our form their formulas. And I'm like, okay, I want to find a nutritionist that we could work with who can come in and just make sure that the ingredients that we're putting in everything are pure and clean. But I didn't realize until we sat at the table when she started going through and she's like, okay, well, this is not really the best ingredient you know for people of color or this is not really the best ingredient for people in general you know right. um the importance of that process and how critical it is to produce a product that is even more valuable right it's not just like any protein off the market so that's something that's really special about it okay i do want to dive more into exactly the products and everything that you have to offer but sure Taking a step back and looking at, hey, where you are at this time, are you still working the full time job in HR as you're, you know, testing and developing all of like what's happening in your life? And are you like, okay, I'm going full speed ahead with entrepreneurship at this point? After a lot of thought, um, it was about a year and a half in business. um, And I just, had to make a choice (laughs) either i was going to stay working or not because it became to a point where i really needed to focus if i wanted to take my brand to the next level um so i decided to leave my job in 2018 and that proved to be um, a good decision for me because we grew exponentially um over the next year after 2018 so um definitely not working for the federal government anymore Definitely full-time entrepreneurship flying at the seat of my pants, but it's amazing. It's a, definitely an amazing journey. This has all grown, like you said, really fast since you really dedicated that full attention to it. So what has that journey been like? The thing for me is, I mean, obviously, you know, the grant has grown exponentially since then. We are now in vitamin shop nationwide. Um, we are currently in discussions to be in, you know, other major retailers in 2022, which we're really excited about those announcements. And, um, you know, I'm just, just so overwhelmed by the opportunity that, you know, the space that God has placed me in to be able to have a brand that touches lives, that changes lives. Um, for me, I just feel, you know, 
blessed to even be in this space um, and excited about the trajectory of the brand and where I see our brand growing and being, you know, five years from now, 10 years from now. So initially we had the weight management product, which is our trim line. Um, and this is our most popular brand. This is the product that's actually um, at Vitamin Shops nationwide. Um, and as we grew the brand, we realized, obviously, it's not just about wellness, it's just about weight management or weight loss, right? Um, and Body Complete Rx, in my mind, is a complete body. So what does that look like for me? So for me, that means my skincare. So that's Glow. So we have a Glow line that features our vitamin C serum. And then also we have um, a collagen boosting powder in the Glow line. And then we have Nourish, which is our meal replacement line. So the, in Nourish, we currently have our plant-based proteins. Uh, we have seven different flavors of plant-based proteins. So strawberry, banana, chocolate, pina colada, caramel frappe. And then we have Perform, which is, this is our um, our athlete athletic line. So this is with our pre-workout. Right now we have a watermelon plant-based pre-workout. It's made with lion's mane. Um, it's the only plant-based pre-workout on the market right now, which is actually kind of crazy to me when I started looking into it. I'm like, why is another other plant why is another pre-workout plant-based? But the only um, plant-based pre-workout on the market currently, yes, the only plant-based okay. pre-workout. I'm going to need to try plant-based pre-workout on the market. Yes, really, every line touches every need of the body. You have your skincare, your just general health and wellness with your multivitamins. You have your pre-workout for your performance management. If you're you know into fitness and I'm um, working out and then you have the weight management side. So my goal is, is for our brand to really like, I don't want to say be a vitamin shop, but have something in our shop for everyone, whatever your needs are for the body, body complete would have it. I'm not a hundred percent plant-based, but I do eat that way 80% of the time. Mm -hmm. So when I do look for products, I am looking for plant-based proteins, plant-based right products like you mentioned and I I do feel like it can be a little bit challenging I feel like I don't know you tell me what you think I feel like that's kind of part of the health and wellness space when it comes to plant-based that hasn't quite caught up when it comes to some supplements like there's all the restaurants all over the place mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. and, you know um but I feel like finding supplements that are plant-based plant is still a little bit challenging it is I mean, it's really a matter of taking certain things out, putting certain things in and making it plant-based, like especially with our pre-workout. Um, I think the ingredient that's included in the non-plant-based pre-workout is the silicone. And it's um, it really is a simple switch. So it's interesting to me that companies are not you know, um, following suit, but again, in my mind, I'm just like you, like I'm not plant-based. I, I eat meat, I eat fish. Um, but when I was looking for supplements and if there's anything that I can do that's plant-based, it's like, if I'm going to choose an option, if I can choose that option, that's what I'm going to choose. But if it's not, then it's just not right. What do you attribute your success to as far as, I mean, you're in vitamin shops and you've grown, look from the three products to what was it? The 17 or, or 18, um, that you have now. Do you think it starts with that community you built going back to 2014? Do you think it's because you're really offering something that is missing in the market from having these plant-based products? Like, what do you attribute that to? I think I attribute it to our product, definitely. Um, I, I started this community in 2014 and you know, it was in a transition. It was in 2018 when I was transitioning out, like I said, this lifestyle where I was transitioning from the surgery experience and I was really transitioning into, you know, my health and wellness experience. And so I feel like everything they happens. They said, oh no, reason. she's about to take over. Yeah. She's so I diving feel like, full you time. Know, everything happens for a reason. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of my followers, then they still follow me now. I have, I have a personal page and they found me over there. And so a lot of those people there support me there. But I feel like the brand, the, the success of the brand has grown really just by the effectiveness of our product. Um, we have a lot of customers, a lot of customer reviews and people use our products. They love it. And then they tell their friends and family. We would have, we have, we've had a lot of celebrity um, clients, you know, customers use our product and then share it. And then those followers of theirs who used it. So I feel like it's been an organic growth um, 
of people purchasing the brand, not just, not because they're purchasing because they like me, but because they love the products first and foremost. Awesome. So tell me about your health journey now. Sure. Uh, <laughs> how have things evolved and changed, um, I guess, since 2018? Um, things have evolved and changed a lot. And I've literally made this my lifestyle and been consistent with this in my lifestyle. And even during COVID, you know, I shared with my audience that during COVID, I picked up weight. And it was crazy because I was still consistent in my, you know, working out and, you know, doing the daily activities I activities that I normally do. I was sharing these things every day, but I still picked up a little bit of weight, you know, just being home more, um, drinking wine and things like that, like a lot of people <laughs> were doing during quarantine, right? Um, so even that journey, just but coming out of that, I was able to quickly lose it again. And my audience was able to follow me on that journey, losing the weight again, because the lifestyle, once you, you know, if you, as long as you still have that, those lifestyle habits and you never lose that, it's not, it's nothing to pick it, you know, pick things back up or mm -hmm. increase your pace or whatever the case may be. What would you say to someone who wants to start making some of those lifestyle changes? Like you mentioned those things that you wrote down that maybe you were struggling with in the past, like the drinking mm -hmm. the water, gym three times a day. Where does somebody start? Um, I would say start there. Like that's literally where I started. Um, start where you're at, right? So everybody is not in a stage where they got to tell themselves, take a shower every day, drink some water, go to the gym. Like everybody's not, I literally carried this card around with me for a year um, to make myself accountable and I wanted to see it. Um, everybody doesn't, you know, it's not in that space, but if you're in that space, then yes, start there. Start with the small goal two glasses of water today. That's a small globe. Maybe it's not eight glasses, but you're pushing towards, right? And soon enough, you'll be like, okay, I can do three. I can do four. I can do five, right? So I say, start where you're at. Make small. Don't don't try to say, I'm going to go run a 20 mile race next week and you <laughs> don't run or, you know, I want to lose 40 pounds this month. Like, let's be realistic and be realistic with yourself and be soft with yourself and patient with yourself. Because again, this is, a lifestyle we're gonna we're, we're gonna we want to live and live long right so it doesn't have to happen in the next 30 days um take time with yourself and be patient and how much should we and i get this is just in your opinion but right there's the healthy lifestyle and the aspects that you just described how much should supplements be a part of that people need to understand that supplements meet you where you're at they are an aid and they are not effective if you don't use them and they're not effective if you're not consistent and it's a process. So you, you have to, um, you know, use what you need, you know, based on whatever your particular needs are and make sure that you are actively being an active participant in your own process. Right. Because the supplements aren't going to do the work for you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You know, multivitamin, yes, but, you know, I can drink my pre-workout, like just like pre-workouts. That's an example. <laughs> it's a supplement, right? If I drink my pre-workout and sit here, all I'm going to do is tingle. <laughs> like, I'm be itching and tingling, right? Like it's an A to get me up and get me working out. So that's a perfect example, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that is perfect. Um, so I think I read and and... Correct me if I am wrong, that you are the first black female owned brand to launch in vitamin shop. Yes. Is that correct? That is correct. Um, so tell me about that. I mean, I guess, how does that make you feel, first of all? Um, it's amazing. <laughs> the vitamin shop. If you're going to have a supplement company, you know, where yeah. do you want your supplement company, right? So it's amazing. And, you know, not only are we the first black woman owned brand to be to launch there, which is incredible. I'm the first black woman to participate on their wellness council. So I have direct connection with the CEO of Vitamin Shop and offer her guidance and give her feedback about things that are important to my community when it comes to health and wellness. And that is incredible as well. 
So um, being able to be an advocate and an advocate for women, women of color, people of color in this space, and it, it's it's beyond me. Um, but I also know that, you know, God makes no mistakes and it's for me. <laughs> so, yeah. you know, I'm Absolutely. here. Um, I've, I've built, you know, I've been able to build a beautiful brand um, that has helped support a lot of people and change a lot of lives. And I'm just so thankful for my brand. And I pray to God every day that he allows for me to continue to build um, a brand that continues to help change lives. Absolutely. And again, congratulations to you. And thank, thank you for the you. work that you're doing. Um, is there a weight that comes along with that as far as being the first? A weight. If it's a weight, I don't feel it. I feel like there's more of a weight. Um, I'm not saying about saying being the first. There's more of a weight just being a black woman in this space. Let me say that, not mm. first. Being a black woman in this space. There's no weight of me being a black woman, the first black woman at the vitamin shop. It's more so a black woman in this space because, you know, we're not used to seeing, well, first, well, we're not used to seeing black women owners of supplement companies. Mm. And I say that with kind of like a, I say that with a side because we're really not used to seeing a lot of owners of supplement companies, but um, we support brands and we don't know who those owners are, right? right? We have no idea who created the brand, who created the product. Be somebody who don't look like you, somebody who may not even be healthy or living a healthy lifestyle, right? Exactly. So I feel like, you know, when I stepped into this space, I did have a lot of um, I don't say like naysayers, but people like, what do you know about supplements? Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, what do you know about supplements, right? Right. Um, so that that's something that I feel like is something, I'm gonna say like a weight, but it was a challenge because I am questioned more. It's just like with any other, um, like, you know, like people say like black women or black people, we have to work 10 times harder. It's the exact same thing. You know, I'm asked 10 more questions than the next person. I'm scrutinized 10 times more, you know, so, but as always, you know, how we are, you know, we're tight. So, you know, got our P's and Q's <laughs> and that's all you need. So, um, definitely, uh, and I also feel like even in this space, you know, even for people of color, we're not used to seeing ourselves in this space. So that exactly. was also a challenge initially, like, oh, the woman in this brand is a black woman. Like, you know, I remember several years ago when I posted something and shared on my page and someone made a comment in our story, in our on our page on Body Computer X and was like, I wouldn't trust, the, I wouldn't order from this brand unless they were at the vitamin shop. This was like maybe three years ago. And it was like, wow. But it was like people, you know, the onset, if it's not something that you're normally used to seeing, you know, people question. And so I was like, I wish I could screenshot that from years ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that we're the like first black woman on brand at the vitamin shop, I wish I had that. But um, yeah, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm happy that I'm in this space. There's other um, people who are interested in getting into this space and who have approached me for help. Um, and I'm so open to doing that because I believe that it's a wide open space we need to be breaking into. Absolutely. And again, like you said, hey, we're not used to seeing other people like us, women who look like us in this mm -hmm. space, but who better to make, you know, the products for us than us? Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. So, so it, it's it, to me, it only makes me want to, you know, try your products above all others, you know, from knowing that first, because you have, you know, the the woman of color in, in mind in making these products. So I think that's Thank just you. as important. Um, yeah. Absolutely. And again, congratulations. Thank on you all that so you've much. Accomplished. Um, so lastly, I always like to kind of end on which we've already touched on a little bit, but just a, an overall health tip, wellness tip that maybe has helped you or, you know, something you implement in your your day to day, something actionable that people can implement in their lives that you just find kind of helps with your overall health and wellness. OK, um, start your day with intentions. Um, when you wake up in the morning, 
start if you're if you if start your day with good intentions. So if your good intentions are to you say, I want to start my day, I'm waking up, I'm actively going to say out loud today, I am going to drink water today, right? You're setting your intentions in the morning. And when you do that, you're more likely to actually try to reach that goal or whatever that intention you set for that day. So I would say like, if you know, starting out, that would be a tip that I would give. You know, I start my mornings every morning with prayer. And part of my prayers is, you know, I include my intentions and the things that I want God to bless that day. Um, so part of that is, you know, me getting work, help, working out, drinking my water, staying healthy. All of those things are my daily intentions. So I would say that would be something I would tell someone to do. No, I love that. And um, that's something that I should certainly work on. So great reminder for me, you know, as well as anyone else, because I, I can certainly have a habit of, right? Day starts, hop out of bed, get right to things. Yeah. But I think it is helpful on the days that I have, hey, slow down, start with intention. Love that tip. Um, I think you just kind of have a, like you said, more more um, intention filled day when you do that um, mm-hmm. instead of just kind of jumping up and going to serve everyone else. So absolutely. Start with yourself. Start with yourself, sis. love that now tell everyone how they can find you connect with you uh find the products all the good stuff and we'll link to it below absolutely thank you so much well you can find me my instagram is samaya gore um just samaya gore my name and then you can find body completer x on instagram as well body completer x we're on facebook as well Uh, we are sold nationwide at every single vitamin shop in the u.s so your local vitamin shop go around the corner tell them you want some body completer x um we are also sold on amazon and on our website www.bodycompleterx.com all right well we'll make sure to link up to your your socials the website where to get the product all of that below in the show notes and um it this was really great enjoyed the conversation thank you so much to it was so nice to sit with you and i appreciate you inviting me on this awesome thank you I hope you enjoyed hearing from Samaya Gore just as much as I did. I'm so inspired by her story. Can't wait to go ahead and try and check out the products, especially knowing that they are plant-based. So I love that. Make sure you go below, find all of her information below in the show notes and connect with her. If you're not already connected with me, I want to make sure you do that too. I'm all the places, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn is where I'd love for you to especially find me and YouTube where you should subscribe and turn on notifications because I have new episodes each and every week and I would hate for you to miss out. So until I see you back next week, because I know I'll see you then, stay happy, stay healthy.